Are you like this uh, Cooper Clutch uh, name they've come up with for you? You think it's going to stick? <laughs> Whatever works for them. Uh, <laughs> Whatever makes those guys happy. This is a in a series of firsts for you in your career. This is the first time you've had to get ready on a short week. What's that been like? What's been left out? And what have you tried to emphasize? Yeah, it's always tough after a Monday night game, especially a road one um, with long travel and stuff. Um, you know, luckily it's, it's a division of opponents, so you kind of you're familiar with them a little bit. Uh, that helps the prep. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get ready. They're gonna come in here ready to go on noon game. It's gonna come fast. We kind of talked about it all week, um, so we're gonna have to be ready. How much control have you been allowed by the coaches at the line of scrimmage, and how have you tried to use that? Yeah, it's a lot of our it's a lot of our offense. A lot of our game is you know the QB kind of um, making decisions up there and. Uh, it's kind of been business as usual. Um, you know, that's kind of kind of how Kellen rolls, and he trusts me and trusts Dak, and um, having that good relationship helps with that stuff. When, when you came back here in 2020, what did you do from the time you got from the, off the Giants practice squad till they signed you here? Uh, I was just sitting at home working out, um, waiting for a call. I had one workout with Houston, uh, and then you know. Dominoes fell and I came back here. Were you working out? Were you back in Texas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a high school field? What were you? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I was like, I work out the uh, or Exos, Exos down there, yep. When you think of when they let you go and they wanted to bring you back, was any part of you saying, well, why didn't they didn't want me the first time? Why do you want me now? Was there any any of that going through your mind? Uh, at that point, you kind of just wanted, you wanted to get back in a building, uh, no matter where it was. And obviously being here, fortunate situation knowing Kellen knowing a lot of the guys knowing the staff and um so it was obviously a good fit and uh at that point you just wanted to get back in peace squad on the team whatever whatever worked um because once you're in you know at least you have a chance and how much do you look at your path to this as a survivor that you know that <clears throat> maybe you could have given up and said time to go whatever you got your degree in and go do, do that work. uh yeah I think that experience helped for sure um you learned a lot mentally you know how to deal with things and um, there's stories like that all around NFL locker rooms. It's you know kind of what this league's about is you're going to get knocked down and you know it's about coming back, learning from it, and uh, moving on. It seemed like it meant something to Lauren to see you get a win over the Giants. Did it mean something to you personally? Uh, yeah, I enjoyed my time up there. Um, it was good seeing some of the guys. You know, talk to Daniel about, a little bit, and um, it's always good to win. You know, it was, it was weird being back there a little bit. You know, we lived there for a few months. You know. Um, but overall, just enjoyed the win, Monday night game, and you'll know, be able to fly back home um, enjoying that one. What has this all been like this season for, for you and your family in kind of enjoying this process the last few weeks? Uh, it's been fun. Um, getting a lot of people to come to games, you know, see me play, and, uh, you know, it's business as usual, really, for me and, you know, immediate family, but some of my extended family getting to actually see me play and start, start games in the NFL is, is a cool part, and, you know, they kind of get to – enjoying that uh, success too. Two things that you've done exceptionally well based on the stats are getting the ball out of your hands quickly and using the play <clears> action <throat> game. How have you approached those two aspects? Yeah, we've we've run the rock so well. Those guys up front, Zeke and Tony, all, I mean the receivers blocking, um, the scheme, everything's been really good up front running the ball and that makes play action pass uh, huge. You know, it really opens up down the field shots, um, you know, Good rhythm and flow, you know, keeping the defense off balance. Uh, so none of that works unless we're running the rock. So um, that's your job on those play action passes. If shots there, other than that, get rid of the ball and just stay ahead of the chains is the real thing. When people talk about quarterbacks so much, they focus on arm strength or mobility and athleticism. But how would you characterize your decision making? Especially since you've had so little time to, to play in games. Is that something you think that kind of set you apart in any way? Yeah, it's about, you know, how you are, you know, 11 on 11 game situations. You got to play quarterback, you know, you're not just working out, throwing routes on air and chucking 80 yards. Um, you got to play QB, you got to make right decisions, see certain things correctly. And, uh, you know, I kind of fell back. I, you know, I played a lot of ball in college, um, a lot of starts. So kind of had to fall back on that with not much experience. Um, so, you know, Coach McCarthy t told me before, you know, you play quarterback your whole life, um, trust in that, and you know, just roll with it. How beneficial has your quarterback room been? Uh, it's huge. We all know each other, been around for years with each other, um, so familiarity with each other, the offense, kind of how Kellen sees the game, how Nuss sees it, um, that's a big factor. 
have you felt like you had to change anything about your leadership style? Obviously, when you're a number two quarterback, maybe you're not <clears throat> speaking up as much in front of the rest of the team. Have you had to change anything like that? Uh, no, not really. You're just you're communicating with that that first group a lot more. But uh, you're being yourself. You know, I've been around, so they, I mean, they know who I am, and I know them, and um, so the communication goes up in terms of you know little X and O's and you know different things throughout the week. Um, but you know, you really just be yourself. Um, you know, it's enough, and you just kind of trust in that. You said just you're not the pep talk guy, but when CD makes a drop like that in that first half, do you say anything to him? Uh, just. We're coming back to you. I mean, you're 88 for a reason. The ball's coming your way again. He knew that. Um, he said, stick with me, and I was definitely going to do that. <laughs> uh, I was like, you're always open. So, But, um, yeah, you know, he, he came back, made a huge play on one drive. He basically led the whole drive down the field and then made the one-hand catch. How do you expect Michael Gallup's return, presumably this week, changes the equation and affects the passing game? Yeah, he's a big-time player. Um, we're super excited. Last week was really good to see him out there practice. And then, you know, this week he's getting a full slate. And, uh, you know, we're really excited. Um, big time player, can stretch the field, uh, has made big catches throughout his whole career. You could be the, the first quarterback in franchise history to win your first four starts. If that was to happen, how meaningful would that be to you individually, knowing some of the players who've gone through? Here? Just, uh, yeah, it means I'm just in a good situation. We got great defense, we run the rock. Um, I mean, that defense, I think every game I've played, they've let up under 20 points. So, I mean, uh, they make QB, playing QB a lot easier and, you know, relying on those guys on offense to run the ball, protection, making plays for me. Um, that's what I think about. Back on 2020 briefly, you were the backup here. They signed Andy to be the backup. <clears throat> is there any more sting in that for you when that happened, or is that just kind of fall into the same umbrella of, of business of the NFL? Yeah, that was business. I mean, Andy's obviously had a heck of a career, and you kind of understood it. Um, you know what it's about. And, uh, you know, you obviously don't want to lose your job. So, that one, yeah, it obviously hurt. But, um, you know, I was signed quickly. I was in New York pretty fast. So, like I said earlier, just being in a building, you know, getting a chance is all you need. Do you always envision you can do what you've done now during those five years? Up yeah, you have to. You have to mentally play the game constantly. Um, in practice, he took literally a thousand. It's a cliche, but those thousand mental reps watching watching four do it um, pay off. They do, and um, understanding what we want to do on offense, and you know, learning from him, and um, those mental reps are huge. Has there been a moment at all in the last two weeks, where maybe you were somewhere, where somebody noticed you that they that you've never been noticed before? I don't know if you're getting out, getting something to eat or anything like that. No, I haven't had that uh, <laughs> that experience. It's been kind of just business as usual. I haven't really. Going on much. What's the challenge of the Washington defense there this week? Uh, really good up front. Their front seven's really good. They're physical. They're they're big. They're strong. Um, they obviously have all those all pro guys up front. So it'll be a big challenge for us. And then you know they're playing well on defense. They they fly around. The secondary is very aggressive. And uh, I think they're a smart unit. And uh, so we'll have to be ready. Thank you. Thanks,